What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Pitfall the Lost Expedition! The Legend of Pitfall, the Lost Expedition. That's what I want to say every time. Here we are entering the Crystal Cavern. We're gonna pull out our torture for. Oh no, there's a, there's a creepy, spooky scorpion! Oh no! Oh, good lord, these guys are so huge! Jeez, I wonder if scorpions get this big. They got. I, I feel like they got it was somewhere, right? I don't know. Scorpion just seem like they seem like the freaking um, <clears throat> spiders of like the jungle and the desert and wherever else they linger. I'm just happy they're not in Canada. That's all I care about. <laughs> as long as they're not here, as long as they're far away from me, I don't care about no scorpions. Let's actually take a look here at how many idols and junk we have in here. One idol and a waiting shaman. That's all we got. We're making our way pretty close to the Mountain Overlook as well. Uh -huh. There's a... Yeah. It's weird seeing these, like, pit monsters inside of a cave. Because, <laughs> you know, the entire game we've been seeing them. Oh, no. Ow! Freaking buttheads. Ow! Alright, we're going to take a save of our canteen. Oh. That is unfortunate. And I don't think we have a fountain of youth anywhere nearby. Can we jump across this? We can. I did turn my TV down a little bit. The the brightness levels. I was complaining the entire last episode. of a horrible that I can't see anything. But, uh... Turn it back down a little bit just because it was too blown out. I mean, this is a case, so you are supposed to have some issues. Dang it! Seeing some stuff. You gotta be really careful here. We're running real low in health. Alright, let's come up here. The caverns are actually like, this is a spot in the game I definitely get lost the most. It seems so unfamiliar to me. I think there's some here, isn't there? There is. Oh, good lord. Don't know why I didn't kill you. Why am I, are you a freaking unkillable scorpion? Good lord. Those forbidden unkillable scorp, dang it. Ah, oh, it's because I want the whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> I hate it when I whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I thought there was a gap there, but no, there's not. A gap as in a endless pit of death and doom between me and the ladder, but there was not. Alright. Let's go for gold. And here's that spoopy music again I was telling you guys about. About, uh, I guess two episodes ago now, maybe. Okay, camera, cooperate, please. Where is this? What? Is there really not another string? Oh, okay, I guess we can go there. Huh. Oh, man, we really need a fountain of youth. <laughs> I don't want to call it fountains of youth for it. was an idol, but yeah, we need TNT to build that box. Dang it, we're St. Clair's men when you need them. They're all... Oh, no. Look at that guy just waiting. Holy crap, there's a lot. Oh, boy. Oh, good lord. Oh, oh, they're like climbing on the walls and junk too. Alright, you're not gonna get me now, dude. Uh oh. Go! Oh! Oh, okay, I thought I was dead there actually. Thankfully, I'm not. There's a shaman waiting here somewhere, right? I think there is. Another guy just waiting on the wall here. I feel like there's like one of St. Clair's men actually in here, just dead. From the scorpions. Oh, I hear another one coming from somewhere. Hopefully, he doesn't find me. Hey, look, there he is. Oh no, I've made a horrible mistake! Dang it! Oh, so frustrating. That's the idol again. I'm actually not entirely sure I'm supposed to be going here. Oh no! Whoa, that's way too many. I don't want to deal with you guys. I don't, I don't. Don't want what you're selling. Don't want it. Don't want it one bit. Oh, good lord. Woo! Alright, let's go this way and hopefully the scorpions won't follow me. Oh, there's like, okay, this actually might be the beginning of the level. It is, isn't it, to the abandoned cavern? Yep, it totally is. Poopy sauce. Oh, no. All right, we're just gonna... No! Oh, he always... Oh, good lord, there's one on the freaking ladder. Oh, man. He always do a freaking dive jump when he don't want to do a dive jump. That's, that's not even what they're called, is it? Oh, no. Holy crap, you guys. Those guys just, they just come out of nowhere. They're so scary. They're so scary. There's a freaking maze of a place. Five minutes in and we've made no progress at all, of course. 
It wouldn't be a proper Chris episode if I didn't do anything at all. Alright, uh, here we go. This is what we want to do. Probably should have just done this to begin with. <laughs> Uh, uh all right oops gotta slide down oh looks like there's a spot we go to there can we make that yeah we can totally make that in fact i don't want to overshoot it ah uh, here's where the saint players man is oh i'm happy i got this both at the same time don't miss thank you really don't want to die as crazy as that sounds hey look there's a bunch of lit up area over there oops gotta slide down ah, i saw you over there scorpion don't even try it don't even try to pull your mumble jar. Oh, okay. Second, I thought I was going to ground pound right to the ground. Well, I, I did, but, you know, to the base level ground. Please don't tell me the freaking porcupine there. Oh, don't get in there quick! Okay, I was just waiting for, like, I don't know, one of St. Clair's men to throw TNT at me or a porcupine to roll into me or throw their quills at me or something like that. All right. Well, this area looks kind of suspicious. Let's go in. Well, if it isn't a little boy with a death wish. Like what I've done with the place? Now, fool! Yes, master. What? <laughs> Is this the guy that gave quick call his man? Okay. Feel the caverns! The fire? Look at their stupid faces like... Ooh. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, I had like little glowy hands there for a second. Okay, so I don't know why this guy's so happy with himself. It's his men are jokes, so. Whoa, they, what the, what the, what the, okay, maybe a bit more. These guys are so much more crazy than the other ones, jeez. So you want to kill everyone and then, you know, let's move on. Oh, really? That's it? Uh oh. Okay, thankfully his dynamite doesn't seem to blow it up. There you go, punch with the face. I turned purple for some reason. Oh, is he teleporting me? Ah, uh, I see how that works. Alright, kill him quick before they start running around the junk. So yeah, I guess that's the whole ploy of this boss here. Kill all the henchmen, then go kill St. Clair or punch him, I guess. I guess we're not really killing the henchmen either. We're knocking them out. Uh... Ah! There you go. Is that it? Oh, nice throw. Son of a! I really like how this game has like a mix of like appeal for children, and it's not afraid to like you know be very adult and oriented. To, wow, I'm getting pretty close to death here. I should probably take a. Oh come on! I totally I, that shockwave totally should have gone. No, not the inner tube! No, come on! Ah! See the good thing about water is you can actually drink it as you're running around, so it makes it a lot harder for the people to hit you. The peeps. Ooh. Oh, good lord. Oh, wow. Double whammy cop. What the? Stop it! No! St oh, stop doing things I don't want you to do, Pitfall Harry. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. No, out of all things that are hard in this game, I did not expect this to be one of them. Oh, where are you coming from? I'm here somewhere. What? I thought you were just beyond the fire there. I thought he was behind the fire barrier, but no. I'm just being silly. I need to, oh, I don't even need to do a rising strike here. Probably should have done it. Are you serious? Come on! Puska! I feel like a freaking even now. It's five now. Oh man. Really wishing I could get them both. Oh, I'm gonna die in a second here. Gotta be very careful. Woo! It's coming down to the wire. God dang it! Oh man! Come on! Oh! Wow, that's a lot harder than I remember it being. Jeez. I was going to say, I better not start me from the beginning. Water? Okay, I have all my water. Alright, I'll meet you guys in a second after I get them down to one freaking hit point. Alright, three hits later. Got him back down to one. Let's see how he likes. Oh, there we go. It seems he can hit those guys. I didn't think he could before. Oh, wow. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. I haven't used any of my canteen yet, although I should probably do that soon. Wow, I got hit there by, looks like the guy running into me, but I didn't take any damage. 
Yeah, for for a while I thought these guys like when you run up to them, they don't run. They like do their they do their little stance thing where they don't do anything. But these guys seem to do that. All right, we're gonna take precautions here and drink a bit of water. All right, and if you, oh man, come on! Why can't you do a rising strike? Ah, oh, it's not gonna work. Yeah, I was gonna say. Don't laugh at me, you butt. That's not the way I punch him at all. <laughs> Out of here, idiot! Now! Huh? Yep. Now they're gone. It'll be interesting to see the journal entry for this one. See, I, d I don't. I never really paid much attention to the journal entries every other time I played this game. Ooh. So it's cool to be able to go back and read them now. I know I did read them all once. Like I discovered that they even existed like at the end of the game, which caused me to read them all. <laughs> That's funny. You've seen all the dead people here. Oh, you see dead? Whoa, there's like four here. <laughs> well, there isn't like four there. There is four there. So go to where he was. You'll see actually it's in a new area. And for some reason it didn't pop up. Okay, fine. Be that way, asshole. What is this place? It's kind of spoopy. The red eyes, the dank eyes. Like smoke, weed, everything. What is this? The eyes of doom. Glad that popped up. Partially because I was interested in what it was called, but more because <laughs> I want to know for when I edit it and I don't have to like load up this game just to see what this area is called when I need to, like, you know, make the sidebar for it. Alright, so you're gonna wanna come through these switches here and activate the Whoa, it's like a weird ram guy skull what? <laughs> I don't know what those are. Really? What oh I see. Okay, I thought this was like the next level up where that stone pillar came up, but no, it's just all flames. Just all through the fires and the flames. Okay, Hello purple eye. You're not as dank as the other eyes. Dank eyes are red, like that one. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> oh yeah. The spikes are kind of hard, the fire is more hard, but this is just cannonballs and it's really stupid. Most of the time he can't even hit you. Look at that. Why is this the last thing? Maybe if- oops. <laughs> I say as I die. But it wasn't in relation to the cannonballs, so whatever. It's so weird to me that they make that the last thing. Like, I guess it's kind of annoying, and I actually did get hit there, but yeah, like, it's really easy to avoid. The dank eyes, man. The dank eyes. The dank ice. I did it. So, now I can continue on to the next level. I hear a lot of bad things going on. I almost wonder, uh, okay, I was gonna say, I almost wonder if I could, like, jump up there without getting this middle platform, but I guess not. Alright. Hmm. To the mountain overlook. Uh, it doesn't look like anything. It's like it's blocked by something. We've seen this kind of glowy glow before, haven't we? Do you guys remember with what? Oh, well, I guess you guys are gonna wait and see! <laughs> well, it is a hint of what's gonna happen. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Alright, fall into the lava on purpose. Thank you. Because I don't feel like climbing back up here. So I guess I should have probably paid a bit more attention to there. Yeah, there's a little safe platform here. Ooh, there's little scorpion pedestals there. That's cool, and they're holding little lanterns. That's cool, it slides out. Interesting. For a second there, I thought Harry was wearing his jacket we saw him wear in the mountains, you know, when it was ice cold. Uh, let's jump over here. What's this place? To the scorpion temple. Oh, no! No, you didn't! <laughs> I, I don't know. Scorpion Temple is kind of hard as well. All the temples are pretty hard in this uh, game. It's kind of a pity there isn't like a third sliver. Like, it'd be cool if that switch just turned that little key around and then you went to the third one and then hit the third, uh, the third level and then it, the third level is what kicked it in. Alright, um. There is. Ah, it's right there, I see. Okay, so there is actually an idol on top of this thing here, and this one's really obscure. You want to jump up here? 
I don't know if I had trouble finding this as a kid. It's like you would think, like, how the heck would, could you possibly find that? But you gotta keep in mind. Whoa, there's a scorpion up here! Makes sense. This is the scorpion temple. Yeah. So kind of weird. Yeah, but as, as like a kid, at least for me, and I feel like a lot of other kids, they had a lot more time with games, and they spent a lot more time exploring every single aspect of the game. Maybe not anymore. Maybe that was just a thing that happened like a long time ago when there wasn't like you know games weren't as there weren't as many games, I guess, to play. But at least that was for me, and I know there are a lot of people who are like that. But anyways, let's read all the journal entries. Oh, there's only two. That's good. And she's 16, January 25th, 1935, 2.38 p.m. Now, keep in mind, I didn't read these last episodes since it was a longer episode, so these might be a little out of date. After climbing the tallest ladder in the world, I made it to the, into the mountains and battled my way past home. Wait, I already read this one. What? Did I click the wrong one? Interesting. Yeah, I definitely read this one. Why did that not have a check mark? Oops. Huh. Entry 17, January 25th, 1935, 3.01 p.m. Made it to the, into the cavern, caverns and ran in, into a lot of opposition from St. Clair's henchmen. Not, well, I guess on the dam we did. I was going to say not really, but yeah, on the dam we definitely ran into a lot of them. Uh, St. Clair's henchmen, who are of course busy tearing the place apart, trying to cart out treasure. But what's better, ran to St. Clair himself. As usual, he came after me with TNT. That wasn't a surprise. But what was a surprise was that Puska, the native guy, turned out to be some kind of sorcerer. He put up a force field, teleported me and a bunch of henchmen around, and was floating around the air. Scary stuff. Puska! But at the same time, he seemed to be totally subservient to St. Clair. Heck, even a little afraid of him. I wonder what St. Clair has over him. Anyway, I, of course, triumph and I'm continue deeper into the caves. Hmm, that's pretty mysterious. Do we have anything else? Oops. Beastry? Maybe scorpions now? We have the ping. But we already. What the heck? Why does? Why does it not remember I read any of these? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, we haven't got anything new, right? Yeah, we already read the raft. Hero no, nothing. The heroic handbook. All right. Well, I guess it's as good a time as any to call an episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you would like to support my channel, please leave a like. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And the next one gonna visit the scorpion temple the scorpion temple if it's anything like the monkey temple prepare for shenanigans shenanig bananigans well bananigans would have made more sense for the monkey temple but whatever say bye pitfall harry boy i don't like calling him pitfall harry just because it's weird i should just call him harry <laughs> stupid smile uh thank you guys so much for watching see you guys later bye